to Swift Cat Code Factory in this video we're gonna discuss all about how to make a face recognition app in just 10 minutes this app is having face recognition and uh, it will capture the image and it will show in the next window so in order to start the project uh, if you have ever used Xcode just download the Xcode from this uh, described link or, or else uh, you can uh, download it from the Apple developer account then uh, let's start the project here I have uh, Xcode 11.3 I'm gonna start a new project with Xcode with a single view application and I'm going to name it as uh, live face detection demo I'm going to save it in the desktop you can save wherever you like First of all, I'm not going to use here Swift UI, so I'm completely using the storyboard. So I will do some patchworks before starting the project. I'm gonna delete the scene delegate. I'll go to info.plist and uh, I'm going to delete this application scene manifest as well. All right. And then uh, did finish load. I'm going to remove this stuff. All right. So then I have given a description uh, about uh, source code along with the Xcode download link as well. If you you can go through the description, uh, as you can see here, the complete source code for uh, live face detection. You can just clone it or download the project after you download. You can you will be able to see a file which is having a uh, few source controllers I have downloaded the link as you can see in my downloads I have face live face detection master if you open the project as you can see here extension dot view controllers so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to drag this file into my project which I have created now copy items if needed create groups these all are checked let's finish all right then I'm going to my app delegate what I'm going to do is uh, more window UI window then these are the files which I have uh, tracked into my uh, this project and they have the files like uh, face detection view controller UI controller these are all the controllers and the extension which I'm going to use in my present project let's go to the main dot storyboard we're gonna change few stuff so over here see my view controller over here I'm going to add one more view controller All right. In my first view controller, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to change the background color as black. All right, and uh, I'm going to take a view from my attribute inspector. it over to my first view controller change the background color to a clear color right then I'm going to take a visual blur effect into my first view controller add a label to my effect view controller let's name it as self scan face
let's make the spice size much more smaller Then I'm going to take uh, one more visual effect view. I'm going to add a button over there. And name it as uh, process image. Let's change the color of a button to white and make much more bigger text. Here, same in uh, my scan face label as well. Change to white color and make the size much more bigger. Since I am using a live detection camera over my uh, view controller, I have used a view which is having face view and uh, Then I have a visual effect with a scan face and a visual effect with a process image button as well. So next is what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an IB outlet for process image. Uh, I will make a segue instead. So I will just drag it and make an action segue. Here I am going to make it an identifier like a show image segue identified named as uh, show image segue and as you can see in my second view controller uh, over here let me make it much more bigger on the screen all right and uh, in the main my second view controller I'm going to uh, track an image view over there to show this is a window which is uh, going to show the captured image from my first live view controller detection this is my view image view mean and then I'm going to drag a button as well and I'm going to name it as uh, maybe close button to come back to my first view controller Then in my first view controller, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add check for a tap gesture recognize drag it over the first controller. All right, let's make some constraint quickly. In my view controller, I'm going to set the class files, change the class names uh, from the source which I have created now. So I'm going to change that view controller as face detection view controller. And in my second view controller, I'm going to name it as uh, final image VCA. All right my view controller with class face detection view controller and uh, I have here the view which we created first and uh, I'm going to change the name sorry class as uh, face view as face view and I'm going to keep an uh, outlet for my face view track my face view and uh, I have here like a visual effect for scan face and process image so I'm going to make an IP outlet for them as well And this is for my process image view and I have here a uh, tap gesture recognizer I'm going to uh, tap a outlet for that as well 
have my second view controller that I named the class as final image VC and uh, I have here a captured image and the close button as well I'm going to give an outlet for them so captured image and for my close button which I kept here that's it project uh, just make sure that in your info.plist uh, we have this uh, privacy camera usage description and photo library additions is uh, allowed with a string value all right that's it let's all explain a few about uh, what the controllers and view controllers do in our project so this is my face view.zip file which is having class of UI view and uh, they have functions like function with left eye right eye all these to capture the face detected face and uh, with a round tab box then I have core graphics which is having the CG points, which is size and absolute point which is being uh, in until the import core graphics. Then I have UI view extension which is having corner radius of the bounded lines. If you take a look at the face detection view controller which is having uh, finally like a detected face will be uh, under this function and if no face is detected it will show that no face was detected. And then I have the functions for to control all the face detected uh, uh, eyes right eye all these stuffs under a right bounded box then i have uh with a it's all done in the landmark feature and uh, i have this uh, detected face uh, which is being recognized and the image will be captured from the sample buffer function and i have this uh, tap handle which is uh, capture the image and process the image all these things are done off here and as we discussed earlier we have a swaggy called show image secure which performs the captured image and it is transferred to the next view controller and finally image vc which is having our captured image and it will show in the image view and uh, at last the close button which is which will come back to the first view control that's it we will run the project and see what we have done so far scan the face now process the image this is the output which is having the captured image as mentioned earlier, I have the computer source code attached. So you can find it below the video in the description. You can get the computer source code for this project. In the coming videos, I'm gonna show how we can meet the facial recognition with the AR kit, as you can see on the screen over here. This is with the AR for facial recognition and uh, for baby as well. Apple have set in age limit for the facial recognition is uh, a baby tries to open your iPhone it can, it will restrict uh, if it recognize to in order to recognize a baby face like so so in my coming up videos I gonna make videos like this for a facial recognition so, so that's all in this video thanks for watching stay tuned